when the first democratic elections were held. Fred Brown will assemble the team to come up with a new flag upon hearing of Nelson Mandela's release. The colors at the time didn't have any meaning, but as time went on, they started being given unofficial meanings. The black and white colors symbolized the two historically segregated groups, that being the white and the non-white. The yellow symbolizes the natural minerals found in the country such as the Johannesburg gold and the Kimberley diamond. The blue representing the oceans and the African sky. The red symbolizing the bloodshed it took to achieve the current united country that we live in today. And finally, the green representing two things, the vast vegetation and fertility found in South African soil and also the convergence of the two historically separated group into one United States. When hoisted horizontally, the red should always be at the top, while the hoist is on the left hand side. That was the presentation of the South African flag for 22 million rand less than the Freedom Park atrocity. Have a good day and suck a d ANC.